Hey man, what the fuck, man? For real. Like, I can't even believe this bullshit, man. We done took some steps back. And all that keeps flashing through my mind is Hugh Jackson ain't never got no whoop like this, bruh. What is going on? I don't even know. It's indescribable. This is crazy. This is madness. You see this game, and then you be like, what the fuck, bro? Wait, like, you really got me thinking, like, you really got me thinking, like, Freddy is not inept for this. Like, he's not cut for this. Like, this, the only reason why we won these many games is because of the talent we got. But he, he don't got control of it, man. I hate to already throw in the bucket. It's just one game. I get it. It's against a good team. I said that a couple weeks ago. I said we got a, a tough schedule, but again, yet again, we abandoned the run game. Like, I don't even, man, ooh, I can't even pull up my shit because I ain't got no battery for my stuff. But if I wish I would have read the stats first, but I guarantee that Nick Chubb didn't, didn't finish with 20, 20 carries. And if he did, it was like really scrubbed because I don't feel like I've seen it. I feel like he abandoned the run early I mean come on come on like why would you abandon the run you on running ball all right we do a little bit of shit yeah it was like four yards three yards but that's still yards it's still positive yards you know what I'm saying you get three of those that's nine yards you four fourth and one at least you fourth and one quarterback sneak you got control of the game you got time possession but what you want to do you want to step back pass Interception. Step back, pass, fumble. Step back, pass, interception. Step back, pass, more fumbling. Like, man. Oh my gosh. Bro. Like, honestly, we supposed to protect this young man. And I'm saying young because he looked like he wanted to cry tonight. Six wanted to cry tonight. And then you got Bosa taunting. Ohio was lightweight, like happy for a moment. Like like a little piece of Ohio was like, yeah, like. You know what I'm saying? That's And that's even, that's fucked up. Because he didn't even finish with us all the way. You know what I'm saying? He kind of quit on us. I mean, I get it. Like, you you got to get your money, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And he chose Ohio State. But we didn't do nothing with him. You know what I'm saying? We didn't get to no national championship game or none of that. You know what I'm saying? That was Joey. But for him, that shit was sweet. But really, as a fan... What the fuck, man? God dang. Like, all right, all right. So I'm watching it right now. They running that shit back. Dog. Kyle Shanahan. I said this shit, man. And he was like, he was ready for this game. Ooh, he circled this game. He circled this motherfucking game. Because he remember how dysfunctional this shit was. And he was the best offensive coordinator. This dude took the, to, the Falcons to the Super Bowl. Granted, he threw the game for the... For the Patriots, and how do I know he threw the game? Oh, my little theory is, all right, so you lose to the Super Bowl, to the Patriots in the Super Bowl, you get a head coaching position, and not only do you get the head coaching position, but the team that you lost to in the Super Bowl, you get that quarterback. That's all happened to whoop our ass today. Along with the other players, not just him, because it was a great team win on them. Joey Bosa, monster, or Nick Bosa, monster, I meant. Joey Bosa plays for the other team in California. Bruh, man, what the fuck, bruh? Like, I can't even. A lot of motherfuckers got exposed today. And I hate to say it because I feel bad when we have to point it out, but 
Joel Batonio got exposed. Bro, you went to the to the to the Pro Bowl? Like for real? Like I'm thinking like you like world class. You know what I'm saying? You decorated. You went to the Pro Bowl? Like this is not the first time like you like I seen J B get exposed. Well, I guess Aaron Darnold. I mean, that's Aaron Darnold, where whatever his name is, Donald Darnold, whatever. I don't care. It's not the Browns. But um, he got exposed against that dude. Like, come on, man. You supposed to be you supposed to be the anchor of this shit. Like, if anybody supposed to be moving shit, it's supposed to be you, Mister Pro Bowl. God damn. We got to draft a whole fucking line. Every damn pick that we use from now, I got to be on offensive of linemen. Oh, bro. Like, I can't even believe on this effect. And I'm even talking like this is only one game, but, like, after the day, like, how do you abandon the run? Hugh Jackson never got blown out like this. And we got a better roster. We got Baker Mayfield as our quarterback, not Deshaun Kaiser. And then he looking like Deshaun Kaiser after the day. I just don't have the, like, hold my breath feeling every time he throw it up. Because usually he rolls to the, Baker rolls to the right and then just throws it. Like, what? Nigga, are you broken? See, that's why I should, he shouldn't have got married this soon. What did LeBron do? LeBron waited. He waited until he got his championship, and then you get married. You don't get married on your rise? Where they do that at? Nah, she all in the commercials, and then all, bro, she got the game all off. She need to go somewhere. She can't be in the house. You distracted. Get back into football. Go back to savage life. You can't turn a savage into a house husband. You gotta go back to savage life. <sighs> Damn, man. This is a bad one. Like, we got our asses look all the way. All the way. And then you got my boy Matt Wilson got exposed. Blown cover, touchdown. <sighs> Randall. That much. Randall talked so much. You under two, three. Oh, boy, hit that 22 light. Or that 21, whatever, man. However fast that motherfucker went. Had his ass looking like. I was like, damn, I thought the mirror's a little bit faster than that. I thought he was going to get him. Dude just went, choo -choo -choo. like he had a whole nother gear, literally. That was crazy. They didn't expect that, man. They wasn't ready for that zone blocking shit, man. Like, we had him. He was one of our coaches. And he left. PowerPoint presentation and got out of here. Dysfunction. What is going on? What is happening? I can't, it's indescribable of what's going on. I can't even say it's offensive line play. Like, I mean, Joe Thomas was a beast. Yes. Hoff, whatever you want to call it. But that is just one man. Okay, we traded the other dude. Baker, yo, improv too, bro. What happened to it? I was baking on that. I was like, Baker make everybody better. I think it's Odell, man. <laughs> it's funny, man. I just, I know it's funny. It's Odell. It's just too much. It's just too much. It's too much. You have, we already had a good cake. 
imagine like that super duper sweet icing, like that icing where it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's so commercial, it's like store bought. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking so much shit right now, but I just literally feel like it's maybe it's too much pressure. I mean, without that trade, we probably if we didn't get Odell, we probably would have a better line. I don't know. But that's what the fuck we got to use the NFL draft picks on, man. Yes, Odell got us prime time. Twice this year. I know Jimmy's like, <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, me, I'm over here ranting like a motherfucking maniac. Hold my beer. Hey. <sighs> All right, I'm done, man. I'm done with this shit, bro. This is a long one. I don't even know anymore. We play the Seahawks next week. Russell Wilson playing hella great. And I said he never going to the Super Bowl again. But I can't even talk shit no more. I want to talk so much shit, and I can't even talk shit about teams. I can't even talk shit about teams right now, man. I got to go back to humble mode. Shit. I got to go back to all we the jokes again. Shit. I ain't even last. We don't even, we don't even number one no more. Number two. Fuck. All right, man. Run, sister, Browns fan. Love, peace, brownies. I'm out.